And Tamsin, that large demonstration we're talking about cleared out just a few minutes ago. It lasted about 40 minutes, and we're told that the protesters are headed down to Bryant Park. Take a look. Grand Central Terminal is pretty much back to normal, but that wasn't the case right at 5 o'clock during the, the evening rush. We saw protesters pretty much in a standoff with police. And they started this a few months ago after a 15-year-old boy was punched in his face by an officer. They say enough is enough. Havoc and disruption during the evening rush hour as hundreds flood Grand Central Terminal. I'm out here because I just want everybody to be treated equally and I don't want um, systematic racism. Several activists joining together to spread a message. No fares for the transit system and no more police officers patrolling. The cops are the power arm of the state. And the state is a force that is applied on the working class from outside of the working class. We encourage you to link up with your friends. The group took to social media to rally supporters on January 31st to show up and show out, even using choice words against police. It's inappropriate. It's very it's uncalled for. In a statement, the MTA said this demonstration activity follows the dangerous pattern of previous activities that have resulted in vandalization and defacement of MTA property, clearly violating laws. Sometimes change needs some dramatic uh, methods. That woman is describing this as a little uh, drama for change. Police say there was nothing little about this, that this is a major safety concern for them, and that this demonstration out here cost taxpayers thousands of dollars in overtime for officers. Again, we were told these protesters are headed down to Bryant Park, so we have to see what happens next. For now, we're live at Grand Central Terminal. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.